you want to change your life and see real change in your life, it's not about what you do. It's actually about fixing a few key parts of your life so that way you feel better. So you bring more of yourself to what you're doing, not so you can get more done. And for so many of us, we miss the mark for years. We waste years somehow thinking that there's a shortcut or there's a simple answer or if I could just do something different. I'm too scattered. And if I just wasn't so scattered, then I'll be able to change my life. Or I'm not disciplined enough. We all tell ourselves these stories. But the truth is, if you're scattered, you're probably going to be scattered for a very long time. And if you're not disciplined, well, you can certainly get more disciplined. But maybe you need to start embracing who you are. Stop beating yourself up and focus on the three things that will actually help you change your life. Last year, this happened for me. I spent almost 13 years building a business, building a team, being a father and a husband and all of these other things, only to find myself not really happy. If you ask me if I worked hard, of course I worked hard. I was doing everything that I had to do and yet I still wasn't really happy. And so for me, focusing on these three things changed everything. Number one, you have to be in an environment that inspires you. If you're at home, if you're at school, if you are an entrepreneur, you're actually in control of your environment. You get to decide what it feels like and looks like, the textures, the lighting, the sound, the smell. You get to decide all of it. And yet so many of us just go into a white room or just paint a wall and we don't even think about surrounding ourselves with things that actually inspire us. If you don't walk into your workspace and feel like this is a place that you want to be. How can you possibly be inspired to spend the time that you need to spend there, to do the hard work, to dig in, to feel like it's representing you? So spend a little bit of time and a little bit of effort and look around and engineer the space that you are going to work in. You are going to do some of your best work. Number two, track your energy throughout the day. I want you to track throughout the day, day over day over day, just how you feel. Do you feel better in the mornings or not? Do you feel better in evenings or not? What happens after you eat a meal? For me, I was never a morning person. And over the last three years, I've shifted myself into a morning person where I get up really early at 4.45, I get to the gym for a 5.30 class, I'm in the office at 7.10, and I have my coffee. And let me tell you, from 7.10 until about 11 a.m., I do my biggest thinking, I am my boldest, I make my biggest decisions, I get the most done. So that is the time we're gonna record these videos. That is the time I'm gonna have the meetings with my team where I need to make big decisions. Because I can tell you by later in the day, Things start to pile on top of me and I get a little bit stressed out and anxiety. And then by the time I'm at four, five, six o'clock, I'm so tired, don't ask me to make any decision. So I don't make any decisions because I know tomorrow I get to start all over again. But I've only come to learn that by tracking how I feel. And number three, you have to get more sleep. This is so important. There is nothing honorable about sleeping four or five hours a day. There is nothing smart about being able to work through the night and then catch up on the weekend on all your sleep. I'm not saying you have to get up early like me. I'm not saying you have to go to bed early like I do. All I'm saying is you have to get enough sleep. For me, getting seven hours of sleep a night is what I know that I need. I need that sleep. And so I try to go to bed at the same time every night, even on weekends, and I try to get up at the same time every day even on weekends, because while it's tempting to sleep in, it messes up your schedule. I know you're busy, I know there's never enough time, but you need to focus on getting more sleep. If you wanna get more done in less time, be more productive, make bigger decisions and make it happen, then you have to focus on these areas. Fix your environment, make the most of your time by riding your energy levels, and then number three, you have to get more sleep. If you want help understanding why you have to keep going, no matter how hard things are, check out this video right over there. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you there.